What up, fitness? John, it's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, for those who don't know, I did test Beta 19 Preview number one, and there was a lot of situations to where these bikes literally could do better. Uh, they weren't fast enough, too much slide out, and uh, they came out with a preview number two, so that's what we were testing in this video, and they have the change log, which is basically improved the wheel load, resulting in more tire bite, basically allowing us to get more traction, right? You're still more slide out. We're still going to be experiencing that situation of like what an IRL feels like to where we're never fully going to get the full traction through a corner, which is absolutely amazing, but at least we're able to grab at least a little bit more traction than what we were before. Um, everywhere we try to turn was just absolutely slide fest right it was almost like it took us five to six seconds just to grab traction when really it should take us about two to two and a half maybe depending on what we are how much more torque or how much you know throttle we are given next up they enhance the usability of higher gears so really being on those 250s and or even 450 third to fourth gear even fifth gear is going to actually help you out in the very long run now obviously you never want to ball the bike but if you're screaming at the right spot or you're really trying to build up momentum to go over a huge jump uh, you guys will see it here soon the Rocco's leap you definitely can utilize those higher gears that is absolutely amazing i mean increased maximum achievability top speed for all bikes this was something i was telling to where the bikes were just too slow i couldn't even make the rocco's leap on a 250 uh, and i know it's a stretch it's a 120 foot jump and it's not supposed to be easy absolutely not and you're going to still see that it is not absolutely easy at coming up in this video here soon but achieving another top speed uh this is a big thing for all the tracks that have been uh you know released all of 2024 Every track is literally scaled to these faster bikes to where once when we start, you know, going towards these slower things, we have to start slowing the tracks down. So this was a huge thing to make sure track creators were getting, you know, I guess, comped to where they didn't have to go back to the drawing board and start understanding, okay, where is our right, um, you know, scaling is going to be now. So speeding up the bikes is absolutely amazing i think this was a win-win compromise situation i understood where they wanted to go for a slower bike and then you know slow the game down but unfortunately it's just something that it's not in the cards right next up we do have optimized power delivery for all bikes so it's basically making sure that you're getting the right amount of power whether it be inside of first gear second gear all the way up to fifth gear um, that's where it goes back to just a blocking situation. We want to make sure that the bikes are always screaming and at least trying to, right? So making sure we're getting the right optimized power delivery at all times. That is something huge. We don't ever want to make these bikes feel as if they're underpowered at all. So trying to optimize this power at, at all times is great. Uh, refined engine braking to have a stronger presence. I think this is the biggest thing to touch up on here. Um, I think engine braking is not a huge thing um, right now in the game of Beta 18. Uh, these bikes are super fast but it's super hard to slow the bikes down you really have to use your brakes you can literally actually don't brake at all and actually go down to first gear second gear not even actually have to do that just let go of the throttle and the bike will gradually turn itself off or slow down it is absolutely insane um i do think it's a little overkill at this point though i uh genuinely in my opinion i think maybe it needs to be reduced five percent um i feels like i don't even need to use my brakes anymore i mean usually obviously if i'm going at a 50 to 60 miles per hour down a straight i'm gonna probably need to use my brakes just a bit to slow it down engine brake is really not gonna help me at that point but tight twisty turns and all that stuff for supercross so far uh being on supercross i really don't have to use my brakes at all um you guys can see from the very first video or the first clip i showed you i literally was just slowing down without even having to use my brakes um so that's something to where it's like maybe lower than five percent to where it's like i still have to use my brakes a little bit but you know you're still that realism i don't know what five percent actually means to towards the oem teams where it's like well if i use five percent we're not gonna have any engine breaking so if that's the case and you guys think it's in a good spot let me know down in the comment section if i'm just fibbing but i do enjoy it i just think we could probably tone it down maybe five percent that also being said they resolved the uh, audio clicking sound the rev limiter uh, that's really nothing too crazy to us that was just an audio glitch bug thing um but we did end up going to mouse motor park i know mouse said he had a hard time hard hard time on the last oems trying to send a lot of big jumps on here and uh so far i was actually able to go on the 450 and actually have a lot of fun on it so i don't really have much time on this track which is absolutely me bogging and booching and botching this whole <laughs> back section which we're gonna go ahead and cut that video move on to our next clip now this is something i really wanted to show you guys 
guys. And this is right here on the Rocco's Leap. Um, this is the only bug I have found so far is that I actually went over, clipped my bike, and then my bike literally shut off on me. Now, I use automatic clutch, so my bike should have automatically turned back on. And I tried to even go rolling down the hill and bump start and nothing happened. So I don't know if it was a glitch. I don't know if it was me just going over that and clip something weird, but I ended up returning to the pit and coming back out and the bike turned back on. But as you can see, I'm third gear wicked about 55 miles per hour and it is still a stretch to get over Larocco's, but it was way better than what it was before. We were only ever able to get like basically a good case on it, closer to the uh, other side. That also being said, I kind of just wanted to go to Salt Lake. Um, I really see myself really just dabbling in the supercross and i'm glad that i don't have to be on 2023 tracks right now i can actually be on the 2024 scaling and be able to jump everything right and really get comfortable to what tires i need to use you can all see this raw footage of me actually struggling and i think the biggest struggle right now is actually making these 180 turns and trying to get a triple in from the corner or doing it as said turnabout like that reason being said is you're not really gaining like i said all that traction as you would on the new beta bikes you can literally lean the bike completely over and grab as much traction and go for a crazy jump in almost maybe even get a quad that's not viable anymore so now we have to figure out what's the right approach to be able to get that triple on which is very hard to do right so now it's it's basically it's just setting yourself up for a whole different ball game of how to play the video game and it's just not going to be our tape our you know right trigger simulator so that's something i'm really looking forward to and i'll go ahead and show you it one more time this is absolutely insane but you used to be able to turn the bike completely over to its side to be able to keep all your grip that is not happening anymore i was very able to get onto it but there's no traction after that for me to get off the table and then over the second but yeah uh sand still feels a little weird but i also still feel like i dig a little bit more it's just kind of been a great area i am going to be testing more on that let me know down in the comment section if you want me to make a video or something like that more about the sand i can touch up and do some more testing but right now it still feels like ice but you're still able to go this is where i feel like i need the most braking though i do need the braking here engine braking is not a huge thing in the sand but let me know how you guys like this video let me know if you guys have tested oem2 and if uh yeah if you guys are excited for the new drop be sure to hit the like button subscribe button and uh yeah i'll catch you boys in the next episode <laughs> or video or whatever that means